All right, so for this drill, what I would do is, if I was just teaching this to a new group, I would just have one rule, and then we'll keep adding rules. So every time, for instance, this zone attacker attacks, we're gonna have a rule for it. So what's the rule that we're gonna have for the left attacker? What do you guys want? All right, so the rule's gonna be, if this player attacks, the transition team has a rule. They have to set back to whoever dug the ball. So let's see if they can follow that rule. So the middle back dug it, so middle back's gotta hit it. Now, what's the rule for if the middle player attacks? What's the rule? All right, so the rule's gonna be if the middle zone player attacks, then the middle back player has to be the setter for, the, for that particular play, so they gotta take the second ball. So now there's two rules, one for an attack from the left and one for an attack from the middle. Here we go. Good, Megan's gotta know the rules, everybody talk. That's right, good. This is gonna force players to talk a lot, lots of communicating. Now let's stop for a second, let's add a third rule. So there was a rule for if the left attacker attacked, a rule for if the middle attacker attacked. What happens when the right attacker attacks? All right, so then the resulting transition attack has to be an off-speed shot. Uh, again, you're gonna hear them have to communicate between each other when they see which attacker is attacking so that they know what rule they're gonna be following on this play. So hopefully they're all talking. Okay, now hold up a second. That's gonna be an interesting one. So if that middle attacker does hit to their middle attacker, the rule is, yeah, she's gotta be the second ball taker. So if she digs it, then I guess the next contact has to be an attack, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Next ball in, wave, wave. Call the rules, call the rules. Next ball in, here we go. A little quicker, Burke. With, if you have more players and you wanna get more going, this is great because now you've got players that have to remember as they're coming on what they're supposed to be doing. Really paying attention. The thing I like the most about this particular drill is that it forces players on this side to have to look across the net, evaluate what's happening, and then adjust and make a, make a change or do something on their side based on what the other team is doing. Um, so you can see we've got lots of people that can wave in and this can go pretty quick.